G'day guys, Walk here, and welcome to another how-to video. In this video, I'll be detailing how to download and compile Bucket, Craft Bucket, and Spigot on a Debian Linux machine. Now, obviously, as you can see here, this is a Windows machine, but with uh, when it comes to multiplayer servers, especially ones that I have a whole heap of my friends connect to, it's not going to be installed on my local machine simply because my internet pipe is not good enough. So what I do is I rent out a Linux VPS. Now I've chosen Debian because that's the distribution that I've had the most exposure to. So I'm a little bit biased towards it, but hey, anyway. Let's move on to the actual good stuff, shall we? So first things first, you need to be made aware of this thread on the Spigot forums. This is basically where to download everything. Now MD5 has been nice enough to actually detail what you need and the actual step-by-step -step instructions. I'm making this as a more of a visual aid rather than anything. Okay, so first things first. We need to connect to a Linux machine. So we'll connect to this one. I've got this installed as a virtual machine on my computer here, but this will pretty much be the same on any uh, any Debian machine that you come across. Okay, so first things first, same deal as before with the, uh, with the Windows one, if you haven't watched that already, is that you're going to need the JDK and Git, and it is actually very, very easy to get that on Linux. You just punch that command in. And I'm going to say automatically say yes to everything. Okay. So then punch in my password. Okay. Now, depending on your internet connection or wherever it's connected to, uh, the power of the machine you're doing this on, this can take a while. As you can see, it's going to take about five minutes for me, or four minutes, three and a half. Okay, so I will be back when it's done. Okay guys, I'm back. It's finished, it's done its whole thing. Now, when I first install Java of any kind, what I like to do to make sure it's working is I run that and it tells me what version of Java it is and what it is, so awesome. Okay, we should be ready to go. Now, I'm going to make a new directory here Okay, and what we need to do is need to download the build tools jar. Link is here. Um, you'll be able to find it on the forum thread. I'm only really going to link to this forum thread and a wiki page to the build tools jar. So keep that in mind. I'm going to use wget, uh, but you can use curl if you so wish. Okay, wait for it to go through and download. And while we wait for that, we can just copy this little command here. And dump it in here. Although I think it may help if I actually have that in the right Right folder. Awesome. Okay, now we punch this command in and go. So this can take anywhere between 5 and 15 minutes. What this will do is it'll download all of the source that it needs and compile it on the spot. So depend, it can take a while depending on how much power the computer has. So I will be back when it's done. Okay guys, I'm back and guess what? We have success. Uh, if you see this spigot build summary that was a success, then you can be pretty well sure that Bucket and Craft Bucket were successfully built as well. Okay, just to show you guys where all this stuff lives, I'm just connecting with um, my SCP client instead of going through a list and show you in the shell. Okay, first things first, if you want Bucket, it'll be in the Bucket, Target, and then the Bucket 1.8 snapshot. If you want 
craft bucket, same deal. So craft bucket, target, craft bucket 1.8 snapshot. However, if you want spigot, it's a little bit different. You go spigot, spigot server, target, and then spigot 1.8. What I'm going to do here, so I'm just going to copy that there. And I should have a spigot folder here. Uh, dump it up there, just because I'm lazy. Okay, and what I'm going to do here... Change into here, Java dash XMS one G. I should complain about the ULA. Uh, and change him to true. Okay, while that's going through, what I'll do just to show you guys that things actually work, I'm going to fire up my multi MC, my 1.8 instance. Okay, that's as it's done. Cool, multiplayer, direct connect, and it is. That one, or at least it should be. Awesome. Sweet. Is that not awesome? Okay, guys, uh, I hope you were able to follow through the video. If you have any questions, just dump them into the uh, YouTube comments section below. I will dump a link to the forum thread and the wiki page for the build tools jar. reason why I'm going to be dumping the wiki page is because it has troubleshooting steps for some basic and common issues with the build tool jar that you might might encounter so please if you do have issues check that wiki page out first and if you still have issues after that either drop me a comment or make a new th or go search through the forums all right guys i'll leave the video here and i hope you learned something <laughs>